Welcome everyone. I am Howard Benton with Aquatas Solutions and I'm going to demonstrate how to create meter based PM records in Maximo version 7611. Maximo has three types of meters, continuous, such as an odometer where all of your values and meter readings entered continually go forward to reach a trigger point. Characteristic, which could be something like a visual representation such as oil viscosity or color. And gauge type meters, which are like your pressure, pressure gauges or your temperature gauges. Once you get all of your assets, locations, entered into Maximo, you're ready to go, you create meters, virtual meters in Maximo, and they are associated then with assets or locations. I'm going to pull up a asset record and use a pump. On the meters tab, you can have multiple meters, you can have gauge meters, if it has temperatures, pressure checks that you're going to do but only the continuous meters such as this run hours meter that is on the centrifugal pump can be used to create a meter based PM record. It always has, has to have that trigger point going forward that will then create the PM work order. So we do have the run hours associated here. So I'm going to go over to prevent and maintenance. Insert a new PM. Give it a description. Enter my asset. If you have a job plan to perform the task on this PM, it can also be entered. And those steps will go over to the to the PM work order. And ensure it is PM work type. Frequency tab. You can create time based and meter based PMs. So then if you do have a time base set by a date every week's months or years and a meter based, whether it's you know, 5000 miles or 5000 hours, Maximo would query the system and see which one came due first and create that PM work order. For this demonstration, we're just going to use meter based frequencies. And create a meter based PM. So I do want to uncheck use work orders. Last work order start date to calculate to calculate the next due date that is based on the time based frequency. So we'll uncheck it. Go to the meter based PM tab. In a new row, then you see generate work order based on meter readings opens up. You know, once the system does refresh. I mean, it's just going to go by the meter readings that do get entered for the asset or location. I go to select value for my meter. Only the continuous meters that are associated with that asset will show up to be selected. I'll select my run hours. And see also generate work order when meter frequency is reached opens up. So I will check that as well. So when the meter readings are entered, then once it reaches the frequency that you set on the PM, then it will also generate that PM work order. So we're going to say you know, every 500 hours, we want this PM work order to come out. Once you start getting the PM work orders and you go out and the work orders are completed, the readings are entered, those values will then show up here underneath the last work order information. The projections for the next work orders every 500 hours based on meter readings may be in the system and tell how many you have left before it may generate the next PM work order. So I'm going to save the record. They are all in draft status, so we do need to change that to active status. So now it is ready to go. So whether you're at on a work order or an asset, you take the meter readings, Whatever the runtime hours might have been, or odometer for a vehicle for oil changes, those get entered into Maximo. You can enter on the asset or on the work order. 
Enter meter readings. We'll say next one, we're just gonna say went 600 hours. Tab out, we'll automatically enter the date and time. It's based on servers, inspector, say okay. Those meter readings are saved. Maxbo is then querying the system on a regular basis to find any meters that are coming due to create the PM. There are Maximo cron tasks, which are system automations that will automatically run on a specific schedule set by the Maximo administrator. And create those PM work orders. If the meters or the time come due in the system. For this demonstration, I'm going to go back over to preventer maintenance. And manually. Create the work order. Open up my PM. Select action. We're going to say generate work orders. Use frequency criteria, which is the time based check it is checked by default. I'm going to uncheck it. And just say OK. This PM that I created work order 1281 based on my meter readings that I entered for this asset. I can say OK here. Go over to work order tracking. Here is my PM work order based on the meter readings that were entered against this asset. Once you continue to enter the meter readings into Maximo, then the system will continue to query and roll forward on those continuous meters. And every time you hit that frequency, such as here, we had every 500 hours, the next PM, the next meter based PM will generate that work order for maintenance to perform that preventive maintenance procedure. That is all I have for you today. I appreciate your time. Hope you enjoy the demonstration. And I do thank you very much.